That would be great. I don't know if you want to have me put the procedure up. Uh, it's just that the text will be kind of small. But we can totally try this. So like, we can try this way. But that's the... That's the, what that looks like. Yeah, so it's going to be a little bit small. So like, we're going to put the the frog here uh, with the dorsal side up. So this is the back, that's your dorsal side. Oh, I'm just gonna put this up here. And then uh, let's just look at, because frogs are your amphibians, right? Um, you can see that their skin texture is a lot different than if you were to say like a reptile. Uh, so um, frogs will absorb moisture through their skin, through like very poor skin. And, um, and they're amphibians because, like what you guys have answered last time, they have two lives, right? They can live um, born in the water and they can live off land as well. So the frogs, the hind legs are strong and muscular. So obviously you guys know that frogs can do most of their jumping and swimming with these massive legs. So if you think about the proportion here, like this is the size of like the hind legs, right? Like if I were to use scissors to look at the proportion here, um, this is like the thickness and if we were to look at this and say like man this is like pretty much almost across the entire abdomen right so imagine if our thighs were to be like that to be that size right um we'll be pretty strong and if you think about the size of this leg compared to the rest of the body right um you're we would be we can be pretty strong jumpers and runners in that sense so let, and if we were to look at the forelegs, um, these ones provide the, the balance in the cushion um, after it lands. So you can see, let me see if it, this is the right setup because it's sort of twisted. So the lighter side here. So this is where it lands and it has more of like a softer padding. And um, the hind legs, you can see that it's webbed, right? This is for in the aquatics. This is for the water. This is where it can um, swim, right? To propel the water. These are, that's, it, that's what they're used for so if you think about the structure of both of these sort of hands or paws or whatever you call them um, it's interesting that the back ones ha are webbed and the front ones aren't right that's a pretty unique uh, sort of structure and if you think about that through evolutionary perspective then you can think that maybe these ones um, you know used to be fins right and um, and then these ones maybe evolved into not having the web for grabbing food uh, because you know they can grab food and, and 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 yeah grab food and put it in its mouth right so uh locate the large bulging eyes so the frogs have three eyelids so if you if we were to look and here i don't know how the focus here is um i wonder how i can make this focus a little bit better but that's that's your eyes we can see we can start cutting open and that there are actually three eyelids here so let's see so there where are my forceps so if you can see that tell me if you can see any of this stuff um, so this is one of the eyelids right here that can open and close right this is one of the the, the three eyelids right um, feel free to give me a response so I know you guys are here just unmute yourselves and then here, here's another one. This is your another um, eyelid here. And there's your eyeball once you have here. So the nictitating membrane is going to be one of these membranes that's going to be transparent. Let's see if I can cut this open here. So let's kind of go in and cut this. Make a cut here, and we can peel off the first sort of thick eye eyelid right here. Can you guys see, or is the focus not that great? Looks, Looks fine. fine. <laughs> you don't sound too enthused, Eric. Yeah, so I can, I can sort, sort of, of see it. Eric, Eric is not having a good day today, or what? <laughs> What's the matter, man? So there's the second eyelid. And um, let's cut this side open here. And then now the, the eyeball is exposed. 
So that's your nictitating membrane right here. So there's this is the first eyelid, second eyelid, and right here, there's actually a membrane right here. I don't know if you can see, but this is the transparent membrane. So that goes there, and we can even cut the whole thing out and see if we can expose the entire eyeball. Uh, if you have any questions right now, just let me let me know. How how bad is the delay here? Is it like thirty seconds or ten seconds or? I have like the the YouTube video muted, and I'm yeah, just watching like I'm listening to the team's audio. Okay. Oh, so like, can you tell that there is a significant delay, Joel, or...? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah kind, kind of. of. But yeah. I mean, like, I feel like, I feel it's, like the it's the best, best way, way, to way to do it. it. I, was I was doing, doing like, the like, YouTube, YouTube audio, audio, and then the team hey. music. Then I can't hear anything. Ah, uh, right. Yeah, the yeah, delay the might just make things confusing for those who don't know. Oh, but... It yeah, should be I, guess, I guess you just have to think that it's delayed, hey? I guess if you were to want... Well, I don't even know how this is this is working out on YouTube video. Yeah, that's that's true. I, I didn't think about that when I was setting this up. I mean, it's not that bad. It's like five to ten seconds. I have to say the quality on the YouTube video is like way better than the earthworm. Yeah, that's why I chose to use the YouTube one instead of the the teams because I think the because like number one, I think the video is is not equipped to do something like this for on teams. Right. Um, yeah, so look, like what I'm trying, I'm cutting here is that I'm trying to expose the eyeball. So like you can see that there's, there's the eyeball is somewhere in here. Um, and the juices are coming out. And then um, that's your, your membrane. So you can see that because of these three membranes is great for living in water. So it still can maintain uh, vision underwater. And did you guys hear about next week about school opening? There's the eyeball. You see that? There's the eyeball. I don't know if you can. Uh, there, there we go. Just like a circular ball, just like that. All right. So we expose all three of those eyelids, and this is just the eyeball. <laughs> kind of crazy, hey? So that's just that's your eyeball. So we can move on. <coughs> Uh, behind each um, eye finds the circular eardrum called tympanic membrane. Um, let me see how we can open all of this stuff up by cutting this. Um, oh, and you might have to unmute yourself because I can't see the chat, so I don't know what you're saying. I know I can see that you sent a message on my phone, but. But you might have to unmute yourself. Oh, so I did I hear about the schools school opening on June 1st. I'm just, I'm just not, not sure, sure if, if we're, we're going to be actually going back, back to school. school. With, with it. Yeah, so it all depends if you guys need to um, come back uh, to do any of the work. Um, oh, Charlotte, you can't be here right now. So this is your, right here at the back behind the eye, this is your tandem. So there's the, that's like your eardrum right here. So you can see that there's that membrane and this is what um, the frogs used to listen or hear. Right, pretty cool, hey Abby? And frogs, because of their skin, they can actually um, breathe and absorb, like I said, moisture through its skin. Um, I used to keep these red-eyed tree frogs um, back, I don't know, maybe like seven years ago. So those are like the ones that found in rainforests in, in like um, Central America, South America. And the one thing that I had to do was to mist their enclosure because they have to be um, pretty damp and humid. Uh, so just like living in rainforest, right? And they absorb the moisture through the water. So you can't just have these frogs out in the open. They have to, you have to give them like a dish of water or you have, there's like these misters. You spray the enclosure with water and that's where it absorbs the water. So now you can see that I cut off the skin so you can see the two eyes right there and then that's your two tapanum. That's your basically your um, eardrum. This is your eardrum and if we were to open this up then you can probably see the membrane that's in here as well. Um, but that's uh, that's pretty pretty cool, right? So like there's your there's that membrane. 
So then, um, if we were to look at the diagram, this is what it looks like, right? And then the mouth is here. I can peel this skin off to look exactly like the diagram. So this is just the exterior. So then, <coughs> the smell is coming now. Place the frog dorsal side up in the dissection pan. And then we're going to uh, locate the tongue. Let's see if we can do that. So if we were to um, open the mouth. So there's the mouth that's open. Abby, do you want to see the tongue of the frog? So here's the, here's the head, right? And then here's the mouth, right? It has a pretty wide mouth. And if you open the, the mouth up, then you see that this is the tongue. There's your tongue. And if we were to kind of open this up, the tongues, the frog's tongue is attached actually to the front of the mouth. It's actually pretty interesting. So if you look at this right here, that's where it attaches right to the bottom of the jaw. So if you take this tongue out, let me see. Whoa, I almost knocked the camera over. Let me grab my forceps here. So if I take this, you can actually take this tongue out so you can see that it's actually attached right here. So it's a uh, pretty, pretty interesting. Um, <laughs> you think it's gross now? And that's your tongue right here. So I can try to unfold it. See right here, right? It's not attached in the back. It's actually attached to the front of the mouth for this frog. And uh, this is where it grabs, like it folds open or fold insects and then pulls them back in and goes into the, the back. So it's pretty flexible. Uh, let me kind of just scroll down here and then inside of this upper jaw the maxilla and then there's the lower jaw that's the mandible and then you can see let's see if you can uh, feel some teeth here um, but it's somewhere up here so right up here has just really really minor small teeth up here okay and at the bottom um, let's see let's we have to find those two vomiting uh, teeth in the upper jaw right here so there, there's right here it's 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 sort of rigid up here but it's tiny it's not like massive teeth I don't know if you guys can see on YouTube video but like right here that's your vomery teeth on the upper jaw and then um, we can see if we can find a glottis so you probably have to open up the jaw a little bit but like this is the inside of the mouth and probably can see that that right here honey i'm gonna cut the tongue off first because it's blocking the way so i'm gonna take this tongue i'm gonna cut it off so the tongue is off and then if i open it so far so good everybody you guys all had breakfast um and into the esophagus okay it's not that bad i did take the tongue out you want to see it this is the tongue right here that's just the tongue right here, right? I just cut it off because it, I, I want to see what's inside the mouth. And at the back of this mouth right here, Abby, right here, this is the opening. It goes into your esophagus. And that's where when you swallow, that's where the food goes, right? So I'm going to scroll down here. So let's cut open the frog and see what's in, inside. So I'm going to put the dorsal um, against the pan and i'm going to expose the belly so usually when you want to open up the um the the abdomen you're going to do a, like a flap right you're going to open it up so you're going to make a cut here and then make a cut here and then you're going to cut along this along the frog so this will just create two flaps to to open and to do that you're going to pinch the skin like this and then you're going to just make a cut pinching the skin prevents you from cutting into the muscle right so once you have that cut then you're just going to cut along and then you're going to turn it and then cut along the other side. So it's interesting to this, this think about like the skin is just, you know, it's not like attached that, that well, right? Uh, so I'm going to pinch and then I'm going to cut along the frog as well right here. Anybody eating breakfast while you're watching this? <laughs> Should is we be like eating breakfast? breakfast? <laughs> I already had breakfast. Isn't, Isn't frogs frog supposed, supposed to taste, to taste like, like chicken? chicken? Anybody have frogs before? I have. Gross. Look, this frog is preserved in chemicals. <laughs> Probably gives it a good uh, flavor. 
So now once the skin is open, you can see that this is all the muscles, right? This is this is like your abs right here. Let's check it out. Like this frog has pretty strong abdomen muscles, right? So this is your your abs. These are all the muscles. And uh, you can see that there's blood vessels that go go along here as well. Um, yeah, so I think we're all done here. <coughs> now the smell is getting pretty strong once I start opening this up. So then we can cut open um, the muscle layer. So let me just kind of peel this skin back a little bit. Right? So uh, peel the skin. And then we can cut. I'm going to make an incision to cut into here. So I'm going to cut through the muscle. So remember what the body cavity looks like, right? Yeah, you see this frog too, Charlotte? And I have to cut through the sternum, the breastbone, all the way here. So here, this is getting harder to cut because this is where you have like the, your, your ribs and your sternum, right? So once I have that, and I don't want to cut too deep because I don't want to injure or puncture any of the, the internal organs. But remember, frogs are your coelomes, right? They have that body cavity. And remember we talked about like mesentery. So we're gonna, sorry if my hand's in the way, I'm just gonna do this right now, right? So I'm gonna expose all this. So you can see, once I expose this, muscle, and then here's the muscle layer. <coughs> so this is your, this is like the muscle that you guys have as well, right? Um, so this is some, of course, some of us have more muscles and some of us has, have less and some of us have that fat that's covering over the, the muscle, right? Uh, but this is the muscle that we all have. We all have it somewhere. And um, if you, we were to open it, this is what gets exposed, right? So if you think about our bodies, our bodies are not that different than this, right? We have your skin that covers your muscle and you have your muscle. And once you open it, you have this body cavity, right? So um, you actually have this sort of empty space that if you cut it in half, it's just going to look exactly what you would see on the outside, right? Whereas more advanced organisms, they have this body cavity where it's sort of separated, right? You have the skin, the muscle, and then now you have this body cavity. So let me kind of um, just open this up a little bit more. So I'm peeling back the skin all the way back to the mouth. So if you just look at this, I know you might can you can hear like the, the bone snap here, but here we go. What can you see from this? Right, if you were to look at this, what can you see? I'm just gonna look at the YouTube video. What can you guys see? Oh. I'm just gonna see if we can get caught up with this YouTube. What can, what can you see? Can you guys identify some of these uh, these parts? Well, there's that orange um, fatty bodies within various parts of the body, like yeah, right behind here. big muscle. That's right. So these are your fatty bodies right here. So they're quite conspicuous when you open it up, right? So that's your fatty bodies, right? So I remember when I first opened it, it's like, man, what's all these orangey yellow stuff? Yeah, that's your fatty bodies. Um, if you look right directly in the center, in the middle of this, this is your heart. So right here, remember, we have a three chamber heart. So we can take this heart after and, and look at what, what that looks like. So that's your three chamber heart. You can see that's a flap. Um, this this one. I'm just gonna yeah I'm gonna wait till the wait for the video to get caught up. But right in the middle, underneath the heart, what is this one? You guys, can you guys identify that? This one? Anybody? No ideas. This is your liver. We always don't, we don't think like our liver is that big, but it's pretty massive, right? Hold on a second. I might have mistaken that with the lungs here. I think this might be the liver here. Let me see. Uh,
That might be the lungs here. Hold on a second. Did we find the messenger yet? Not yet. Let's let's keep digging. Um. Yeah. This is the liver. So let's go. Let's go in. And the, the mesentery here is just like this right tiny spot right there. That's your membrane. Um, that's your mesentery that attaches to you like the the walls of your body to your organ, which kind of holds it in place, right? Otherwise, like how it is otherwise it's going to be suspended, right? But that's really this is this membrane holds it in, in place. Pretty pretty neat to think that, right? So we have this heart. Uh, if you were looking at the diagram, um, you have the massive liver that's here. And then right here, this is going to be your stomach. I'm just going to wait for the video to get caught and see if we can find the gallbladder uh, somewhere here because it's kind of small. Get rid of all these fatty bodies that's just like lingering around here. So let me take out all these fatty bodies. So all that yellow stuff, all your fatty bodies. And then, okay, so there's your stomach right here. So we can cut that open and see what the the, the um, frog has been eating. And then there's more fatty bodies. In the back here are your two lungs. And there's your heart, there's your stomach. And then now it's going to go through a bunch of intestines and then you can see that there's mesentery right here. And all this is all just intestines. So the intestines don't look that full. Maybe they, I don't know, the frog didn't eat before any of this, but like it doesn't seem that full. And um, yeah, that's, um, that's really it. It doesn't seem like it's that complicated, right? And um, the back here, you can see some arteries. If you can see like right here in the, with the red, that's the arteries, but let's cut the stomach open and see what this frog has been eating. And you, when you look at the, if you get a chance, um, when you do a dissection of the frog, you can see like the texture of this, or some of you guys might have eaten like a stomach before and you know, you notice that the texture is very different. Um, and also like the toughness of the, the, the material is also very different as well. So let's cut the stomach open and um, as we, cut the stomach open I can I can tell you that it's harder to cut the stomach it has a tougher tissue material and um, yeah so this is inside the stomach I don't know if you guys can see but that's inside the stomach that's the food that's been digesting whatever it is <coughs> yeah the smell is sort of getting to me but um I remember I've cut a frog before that how you can actually find insects in there so we can cut the large intestine here at the back this is going to go towards the anus but like this is the large intestine so it looks like there's a lot of poop in here because it looks pretty full so i'm going to cut this open let me see if you guys can see this so open that up so that's all the poop that's going to poop up right here so that's your large intestine um pretty neat let me see what else we can find here any questions at this point I know like there's a delay in the video but like if there's any questions right now please let me know I think this is pretty pretty cool one unique thing about um, like frogs and and like simpler um, animals or is that they have this what they call like the cloaca and uh, that's where they have that one exit for like the sperm and the urine or feces so like when we like for mammary um, animals like mammals like us right like we pee and poop in different sort of openings right um like it would, if we were to look at males uh, your urine comes out from one spot and then your feces come out from one spot uh, for females, it's like urine for one spot, and then there's you know feces for another spot, right? Um, but here in in frogs, they have this opening that that is just one opening for all three of them. So if they need to deposit sperm or eggs or um, feces or pee, they all go out from one opening called the cloaca. So if you look at the um, the the guide, it's number ten. That's where 
um, all of those exits. So we can see if we can find it here. And um, let me see if we can cut it open further. Do, 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 do. You guys are so quiet. It makes me feel like I'm just doing this by myself. What's going on here? Since school's open next week, do you guys want to come into school? No thanks. You're like you're okay with not coming in at all, Eric. You just what was going on at, at school. school? Well, we talked about your graduation plan too, or convocation plan. So we talked about that. Um, We're gonna we find out more, more about, about that tomorrow, tomorrow aren't we? Right? I think so. I don't want to tell you guys what it is because I don't know if I'm allowed to tell you what it is. I don't think I am. So I'm just going to let you guys wait a little bit. But um, yeah. Well, you guys do have a chance to come into school to wrap things up, I guess. But there we go. Here. Do you guys see that hole at the back? Let me see if I can make it easier to see. But it's right here. So here is where everything comes out from this so right here you can have poop you can have pee you can have your eggs coming out so let's cut this open um and see where that leads to right because you can probably guess that's going to lead into three different areas so i'm just gonna nobody's finding this gruesome yet right so so far so good Okay, take off the skin at the back. We had a pretty lengthy staff meeting today. Talked about your communication. Do you guys know what it is or no idea? No. Nothing yet, hey? I think you guys uh, have like an in-person convocation, I think. Well, how does that work though? Because, like, isn't it only 50 people allowed outdoors? Yeah, I think it's outside, but. <laughs> um, yeah. I guess the details are still being worked out. Mm. I think you guys might have. Because a lot of universities are having. There we go. Let's see. Oh. So there's a lot of muscles here to go in to push all this stuff out but um, once we expose all this then that's that's where it leads in neat um, let's see what else we can find here it kind of smells though now that this is all opened up I'm gonna scroll down here we looked at all of this stuff uh, we looked at the large intestines and small intestines we looked at uh, the anus um, we, we looked at the mesentery at the back here and the uh, pancreas is somewhere here in that small sort of leaf like structure um, and there's the spleen that's back here that's attached with the mesentery right here right uh, and the heart we can cut open the heart and see the three chambers but like here's the heart right there's your um, ventricle like I said again so we can cut this open and, and see do a cross section here and let's see if we can lift this up so once we lift this up that's your major ventricle right and that pumps into all the blood in the frog in these two uh, atria right pretty pretty cool um, <clears throat> I think that's pretty much about pretty much it The kidneys are back here somewhere. I'm gonna take some fresh breaths away from this because now it really is starting to smell. Uh, I wonder if I just sort of mushed it up somewhere. There's like nothing left here, hey? <laughs> okay. Any questions? I think this is uh, this is near the end of our dissection. Um, we looked at all the fatty bodies and all that the ye yellow and orange, but this is your your frog um, frog dissection. 
We looked at the exterior, looked at the eyes, the mouth, and the tongue, and how it, you know, it feeds. And then we looked at the three chamber heart, and we looked at the insides and the body cavity of that. And then uh, out goes into this one opening in special uh, to sort of like the minor animals, not the mammals, uh, where your feces and urine will come out uh, along with your sperm or egg. Um, but that's that's it for your bullfrog dissection. Um, hopefully you guys got something out of this. I don't I don't know because it's a virtual dissection, um, but hopefully it's better than nothing. Um, yeah, any thoughts, comments, right now? Um, I think that I identified the eardrums or like the tympanums of the yep. frog which was smaller, so I assumed it was female. Did we find any ovaries in the frog? Oh, I, I feel like I've like taken a lot of the stuff out, Owen, that I, I don't know if I can um, find. It's all like convoluted right now. So, um, yeah, my best guess is I can't find the ovaries. Maybe it's are these ones, but like it just doesn't look that great right now. But yeah. We can look at also like the, the padding of these ones. I can see if I can pick another frog out and compare them. So here's another frog, but uh, well, this one looks like a, a, like a bigger one, you can see. So we can see if we can identify the difference between these two pads. But um, doesn't seem like there is that significant difference between these two pads. So I would say that they might be female. Um, it seems like the pads here on the hands are just like, they're not that swelled up. Uh, that's one, one difference, but I don't want to cut this one open. I'll leave this one for next year, but it seems like these might, might be female frogs. That's a good observation though, Owen. Mm. Any other, any other uh, comments or anything like that? I don't even know who's here and watching because I can't, I can't, I can't change my screen with my gloves. <laughs> I'm gonna take my gloves off now. But if that's, uh, if there's nothing else. Um, I guess thanks for tuning in, and I'm gonna start cleaning up. All good. Thank right? you. All right. I will see you guys maybe next week. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Have a good weekend. You too. See you, Joel. Bye. 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 Bye.